Hello, 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 and welcome to the podcast version of African Travel and More. Today, I just want to kind of continue our discussion on Wednesday. I released a YouTube, well, no, not YouTube, a Facebook Live um, event on this past Wednesday around 1 in the afternoon Pacific Standard Time. And we were able to come together and some of the questions that people have about African travel and the countries that I've traveled to, we got into a little bit. But I wanted to just review a little bit of that information and place it in podcast form so that you can access it when you want to have the information. So as many of you know, my people who follow me on Facebook and Instagram, thank you so much for your support and following me and checking into my YouTube and all of that good stuff. I greatly appreciate and I'm thankful for all the subscribers. At this point, I almost have 3,000 subscribers on Facebook and I so appreciate you and just love you so much and just wanted to bring you some positivity in this time of uncertainty to some and stress. So I said, let's get together and talk about some African travel. So here we go. Um, Just to review a little bit of what I discussed in the Facebook live event, we talked about the basics started out with the basics like the cost um, of a passport right now US passport total is about $145 and for a uh, minor it's $115 total i mentioned about the uh passport card that's about 65 but that really isn't beneficial when you're doing international travel because that's it only applies to uh travel um I think Canada and Mexico but don't quote me on it but um some of the things that um we kind of discussed and some of the questions that were asked were what does it take visa requirements so usually visas has to do with individual countries. Uh, You have to kind of research, say, the country you wish to travel in Africa and um, see what the um, visa requirements are for U.S. citizens. Now, I can tell you this. Some countries um, will allow you to get that visa on arrival. Others want you to get your visa prior to travel and you go through certain steps. Uh, At this point, I've been to about mm, 15 African countries and each of them is quite different. Now, I will tell you this, um, countries like, um, I know Uganda have moved to, um, I believe, online, where you it's totally online and you uh, pay to have... um, You pay to start the process there and you receive it once you get to the um, to the airport. But um, you really, really have to um, be careful and research that some people have um, go through uh, agencies that do the work for them. Uh, For instance, when I travel to China, yes, I traveled to China in 2018 um, I went through a agency that handled visa fees and um, getting the visa process in total going to China. So I paid um, upwards, I think, of maybe $150 or so. And um, they kind of walked me 
through the process. So that is an option. However, for the African countries, it's not as um, cumbersome as the China, traveling to China. But um, anyway, so um, a lot of the times you can um, figure out just by going online. Say, for instance, um, I travel to Ghana a lot. And so um, about two years ago, I received a five-year visa and I paid 100 USD. And that visa is good for the next five years. So I can go back and forth as many times as I would like to go to Ghana because they have given me a five-year visa. So that's really a plus. And I think um, Ghana is a very good um, entrance um, for your first trip to uh, Africa. I'll tell you why in other uh, episodes that I do of this podcast, but um, I'll say this much. You will feel so welcome and at home in Ghana. Okay. Not that you wouldn't in the other African countries, because to tell you the truth, wherever I go connecting with people, I have a good time. I love meeting the local people. I love eating the local foods. I love having the local experiences. It's not that uh, I don't like five star restaurant and that experience, but that's not really um, what I'm into. Um, I have done some reviews of to you know of hotels and so forth on the TripAdvisor and other um, places, but it's you know it's kind of not my thing. So um, back to what I was telling you about the the travel. Uh, when you find out the country that you want to go to, and after you figure out where you want to go, then it's one shot requirement that is asked in most of the African countries, and that is yellow fever. Yellow fever vaccination is required, and believe me, you want to have it done here in the U.S. and not go to that country because they won't let you enter. And with how things are now, I wouldn't be surprised in the next few years if we don't, if we have to start taking uh, a vaccination of sorts for coronavirus. But that's something for the future. We're not going to worry about that now. But um, another thing people ask about uh, and want to know, the pills, the malaria. Is there malaria? Yes, I can tell you this after talking to um, many of my friends in different African countries. I know Pearl, for instance, who lives in Uganda, and I will hope to have her on for an interview shortly uh, because I think that's a better way when you're able to talk with the people and you're able to meet people, even if you're just hearing their perspectives um, through audio. But anyways, Pearl... um, she caught flu and she goes, Oh my gosh, flu is worse than malaria because at least with the malaria, you take the pill or some medication and it, it uh, goes away. And the flu, I know we have flu medications. Um, I think there's a Tamiflu that makes it better, but let's just wash our hands and, <laughs> and stay away from it altogether. Uh, because that's, that's what I do. And thank God I don't, um, catch flu so often, but, um, you really do need to take the medications that you're given. I know that that's an area of, um, slight controversy. I don't know why, um, for instance, I know mosquitoes tear me up here in the U S so why would I go to another country thousands and thousands of miles away and not have bug spray with DEET and not take malaria pills. I have a very bad reaction to mosquito bites here in the U.S. So I know when I travel to another country, I'm not going to risk that. So it's really on an individual basis. Uh, Personally, for me, I do take the malaria medication and I do protect myself from mosquito bites. 
but in the near future we'll go into um more detail for which country or what you want to know more about but let me know uh by telling me either in the um messaging me either inbox or putting it in the uh message reply and all of that on Facebook or YouTube or whichever one you choose to do let me know what you want to talk about I thank you for support um you know to everyone who has liked my Facebook page everyone that follows me on Instagram and everyone that has like subscribe and share to my YouTube it's such an encouragement let's keep the positive vibes going Let's keep the goodness going. God bless you and have a great day. I hope to talk to you soon and I hope even more to share African travel and more with you. Have a good one. Bye.